I like pistol caliber carbines. They're fun, low recoil. This one, I can't really shoot that well. So I have a vision for my own pistol caliber carbine. It's gonna be very cool. It's a challenge for Chris and KJ today. So, pistol caliber carbine upgrade today on BuildBox. What could you see? Not a damn thing. <laughs> all right, here we go. You know, I really think that doing build box is all about you guys building guns for me. For you. That's what we're gonna do. At least this, at least today it is. Today it is. All right, so today, I know you're kind of, okay, okay. PCCs, pistol caliber carbines. Okay. They're so popular, Chris. Cool. Why? Well, because it's cheap. It's cheap to shoot. Doesn't cheap recoil. To shoot. Yeah, it's inexpensive to shoot. Okay. It's fun to shoot. It's quieter, less recoil. Yeah. I mean, what's not to like? Nine millimeter is kind of probably the most common one. Why wouldn't you? So I've been kind of assembling this stuff together for a year. I think. Let's shut up. All right. It's been it's been in my office <laughs> it, for a while. It's been sitting there. And, but I think it's going to be really cool. I have a so feeling. I, that I know some of the things that are going to come out of this box, but yeah, because we've seen it before. Well, how come you haven't built it? You know, like everybody, you, you, you get all the parts, you're like, I haven't gotten around to building it. I, everybody who I builds guns is like, yeah, I've got a couple I need to assemble. So mm -hmm. why don't, you know, I let you guys take a stab at it. I already want to dig in there really, really bad. All right, you guys get started. I'll be back. All right. All right, good luck. You know, Kevin, I actually built a gun because I won a magazine in a competition. That's so. a dumb way to do it. Um, okay, loophole patrol 6 HD, one to six. Cool. That's not a close range gun. No, it's perfect. And we've got near to far. 16 inch barrel. So, carbine length, right? Carbine length, so Come we on, can talk actually me. put a stock on it. FDE. There's the stock. D okay, so he's got a theme going here. He's, he's gonna be super, super put together. Tan, tan, it's gonna be fun. All right. So let get me the receivers out. I want to fixture them up while you're All getting right. stuff out of the box. All right. Let me get rid of that. Cool. Arrow precision. What are the what are the odds he actually competes with this gun? S Slim and none. All right. <laughs> all right. So it doesn't have to run all the time. But we'll make it that way. <laughs> okay. Cool. Awesome. Good. Man, look at that receiver. It looks good. It'll be a good looking gun. I just and I know he can run it. Good but colors. Great colors. All right, it's time to build. Let's do it. When it comes to triggers, one of the choices you have is a standard trigger or a drop-in trigger. A drop-in, as it sounds, is all assembled, put together in one housing. You drop it into the gun. Pretty easy installation. Now, a standard trigger is typically going to have more parts, a little bit more gunsmithing, if you will. And the reason we're going with a standard trigger is this Aero EPC build really likes that. As far as a fitment, it likes a standard trigger better, even though I love the Timney. But you know what? It's not really my problem. It's Chris and KJ's problem. All right, Chris, not a drop-in trigger. We're using a mil-spec trigger. Why is that? Well, that's what Arrow recommends. Okay. And that's what we have to work with. But now, I've screwed these up. Yeah, one of the things people will do is they put the springs on back. Uh -huh. So this, ham this uh, trigger spring, the legs go forward. It doesn't look right. It's kind of counterintuitive. But that lifts that trigger back yeah. every time. Yeah, it does, every time. Same one with this. The hammer spring, people put it on and they think that this should go into that area. Well, it, it doesn't go there. It won't give you enough right. spring tension. So that, that actually brings the hammer forward. So we're gonna put it on and it takes a little bit of effort. But man, look at how much spring tension. Lots. Okay. On that. Now, you say you have a trick for putting these in. Yep. The receiver. 
So I need the sear. Get me a one eighth punch or thereabouts size, right. please. I'll actually get you a one eighth. Punch. When I Take slave that. something through like this, I don't use the exact size because I don't want to have all that extra force. Okay, you want a little bit smaller. So what I do is I put it, yep, that's nice. It's got a little wobble room. I gotta find out where I'm at on this trigger and I'm gonna try to see it in there. I got it okay. through, I got the, the sears captured. It's all the way through. The punch okay. is sticking out this side. So you're gonna hold on to that and keep force on it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this pin in and I'm actually gonna push that punch out as I push this through. Okay. This one. See, that's why I think you should go with a little bit bigger punch, less wobble room. Just got to keep that force against the backside is what it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's now my we're fault. there. You press it through. And that's in. If I wanted to, I could use the back of this hammer, but it slipped right in there now. Yeah. So we're gonna do the same thing with this, but this All is right. where this is where there's a ton of tension. Right. Okay. So you're gonna do push, the same thing. Push that in, try to find that hole, capture that hammer, and then we're gonna push this guy through just the same. Dude, that's a nice trick. Build Box, brought to you by Timney Triggers, Range Ready, and Wheeler Tools. There are different operating systems for semi-automatic firearms. Now in this PCC build, it's a blowback system. A traditional AR-15 is a gas system. So you have a gas tube and some parts there that you actually don't need in a PCC. Now you also have a different buffer assembly, spring, and bolt carrier group. It's actually a very simple system and it's very reliable. Stick this. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You done? Let me feel. All right. That's really stiff. That's How's really it going? Really How's it going? Really stiff. How's my gun? Uh, How's my she's, baby? She's pretty. She's coming <laughs> along. Uh, feel, man, feel I that. Like the tan. Feel it. All kinds of tan up in that. Wow. I mean, all right. Blowback action feels way different than an AR. Chris, way different. Like, what's the deal? A lot of weight, a lot of spring pressure. So the spring that's in this carbine tube is actually a 308 spring. The buffer that's in there is like almost a half a pound itself. It's 7.7 .7 ounces. And, and, and a buffer weight of a regular AR is what? In my guns, they're like three and four ounces. So not even close to half a so pound. So this is double. Because there's yeah. no gas. The oh, system yeah. doesn't run on gas. Right, well, on the on the bolt face, if you pull that bolt face out of there, you can see that that's absolutely different because on this barrel, there's no locking lugs. Nothing goes into oh, this there. Is flat. So you don't have that gas unlocking and that delayed blowback. This right. is direct blowback. Like in, on a pistol, it has to come out of lockup before it comes back. This doesn't do anything. It just goes so off it just, and goes straight. It uses the energy of the nine millimeter going off to run the semi-auto. That's right. Is that, does that make it easier to build? Well, it makes it easier <laughs> to build. There's less parts that don't have you to fiddle with think. the gas system, but <laughs> you are gonna have some <laughs> felt very recoil. Good. <laughs> it's very good not to think, but it's it's stone and simple. Now, you were saying, how does it affect the shooter? Yeah, there's gonna be some felt recoil because you got a pound and a half, almost two pounds of moving parts Coming inside the gun. Going chunk going chunk 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 yeah, it feels different than an AR. Yeah. yeah. Looks like an AR, yep. but it's a totally different system. That's correct. She different. All right. Cool. She is different. You guys uh, you guys want some help on the next steps? Mm -mm. I think we got it. You know I'm deadly with some tools. Yeah. That's I what know. we're afraid of. <laughs> All right. That's probably best. All yeah. right. Good luck. Keep going. All right.
Now I gotta put it all back together. So Kevin, we got a different type of mounting block for the vise. This yeah. is actually something new from Wheeler, which is cool. Yeah. Because a lot of times you're working on generic uppers. Yep. You can't fit them in all those different clamshell things. So this actually goes AR-15 towards the front. There we go. Come on, you piece. This will do an AR-15 and an AR-10. Well, now you maybe like. You can take that out because I don't need it. You don't need it. That's right. All right. I need that so upper you need off this of there. Upper off. There you go. We're gonna pin it in here because we are actually gonna do the barrel and the handguard, and that's where you are. Oh, I get to do something finally. All the work. Oh, great. So we're gonna put that in there. So that's gonna stabilize this. We got good surface area. Before we put that barrel in, KJ, what I want you to do is get some of that anti-seize. I got this copper anti-seize. I already put some out here because the applicator in here is awful. Mix that up a little bit. Right around here. Give a swish around the barrel extension. The barrel extension? Yeah, the whole You outside. want all that? Yeah. All that done? God. Come on, let's get more liberal with that. Hey, this stuff goes everywhere. Don't tell me what to do. Because it'll go everywhere. Like, I'm worried about it messing up my nice clean shirt. So, back off. I wasn't good at art class either, so just telling you. See, I got it there, all right. All right, so nothing yet there. Why not? Easy, put that in. Yeah, one step at a time, right, Dad? That's right. All right, so now we're gonna put a ring of anti-seize around the outside of the barrel extension where Why? the nut's gonna clamp down, because that's gonna let it slip, and it's gonna keep it from sticking. If we ever wanna break this down and put a different barrel on or make it shorter, Okay. Let's put a little bit in there. There we go. Dude, just like my dad. Mm -hmm. Watching me 50 times, making me do it 40. Okay, then goop, goop a little in the threads of the... Jeez. the okay, now you want the threads. Yep. A liberal amount too? Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything, and when pressure pushes it out, we'll just wipe it off. It'll be on Ryan's hands anyways. If. Uh, it's your funeral. So now go ahead and put your nut on. All right, cool. All right. Don't rub against that barrel in case you got any on it, sliding it down. Dude, you know what kind of shot I am? I'm a perfect shot. So no, I did not get any on the barrel. I got it all right here. All right. I did get a little on my finger. Does this shirt make me look fat? Yes. All right, let's mount the handguard up. Why'd you say yes? Not yet with that. Sure. I got a trick that you're gonna like. It's gonna make it so Only much if easier. it helps. Okay, yep. All right. So you know how this is, this it's is loose. here, and it can wobble a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So the handguard can move around. So what I do is I take any kind of thing that spans this gap. So I wanna span this gap. Okay. So I've got our scope mount here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on there. But that's not where you're gonna leave this. Nope. Because that's a little far forward. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. For my liking. Maybe maybe you like that. Yeah, uh, if, you were on, if you were on somebody else's shop, you might wanna put it there, but not maybe. mine. Maybe. So we'll tighten it down just enough to hold everything together, okay? So what that does is it gives us a continuous monolithic okay. rail platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put your front side on and it's, all, it's gonna be cocked off because your yeah. handrail's off? Not yeah. anymore. Okay. We're gonna pop so this. So this, you're perfectly aligned, right. whether Front you're building an AR-15, A-10, or whatever. Front and rear. Here okay. The other jaws. We're gonna clamp this in now. Soft sides or hard so sides? So notice I got enough room to clamp it in, hard side in, because we got a little rail in there. I'm gonna turn it for you. Hope that's I like hope that's that. appropriate. Don't call HR. Now, All right. you got a good surface. You can work on this and mount it up. That's a great system with arrow. It's gonna be fun. Okay. So 
So we're going with a 16 inch barrel on this nine millimeter carbine build. Why? Well, I wanna maximize the ballistics of the nine millimeter. Now, probably we get out to 12 inches or so, you're already maximizing it. But if I go 16, it's not a short barrel rifle. It just makes things a little bit easier. And I want this gun to do things that I can't do with my pistol, like shooting at further distances. And I think I'll achieve that with the longer barrel. Chris, you need another level on there? Because no. this is a little out of hand, I think. <laughs> Well, the reason I'm doing it this way is because my vice for, for the gun itself is not as stable. The wheeler block works really good. Okay. The wheeler bubble levels, and I've got some extras from my toolbox. I've got levels all over it, so I can get everything straightened up. Okay. I want to make sure it's perfect for Ryan because you know he's left-handed. Oh, yeah. He's wrong-handed for sure. It sucks being wrong-handed in a right-handed world. <laughs> so what I do is I, I get the scope mounted on here. I set it in a spot, okay? So I put it here because this is general. Okay. That's a general idea. So it's more universal. You shoot it, I shoot it. It's all gonna be in that area. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is it. gonna work for him. If we have to move it, we don't have to slide the scope in the, t in the tube. Because you have a lot of rail. We got rail. Okay. We can I jump see it. it forward a notch, backward a notch. Yeah. I get everything straight. I like to use kind of my fingernails here. You can use, you know, gauges. Just as spacers. Just to kind of make yeah. sure that the rings yeah. look pretty. Yep. And then I'm going to torque it down to spec. And I've got it kind of tight now. I'm just going to finish right. it off. I have You finish up it. that. I'm going to start on the muzzle brake. Is that cool? Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah, that one just clicked off. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a very cool muzzle brake. Let's stop what you're doing. Build Box, brought to you by Ballistic Advantage, EOTech, and Silencer Central. All right, all right. I like what you're doing. I like that muzzle brake. I love it. But stop everything. Because <laughs> I got a different muzzle device. Yeah, I like that muzzle device Dude. better, but I like this one. Don't have that to tell me cool twice. One. It looks great. All right. I mean, everybody wants to put a suppressor silencer on their PCC. Especially a nine, Chris. Run it, run it subsonic. Yeah, there's so much subsonic ammo available. Yeah. And it's in its quiet like a 22. So that is primary weapon systems. I mean, you know them for the like really nice ones. ARs. Yeah. But that's their BDE. That's the new. All right, that's all right. The new Should new. marry up just fine, right? And that one's 3D printed. So you see like the so wild not, design. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. a crazy design here. Uh, is there any thought process behind that? Actually, well, what they tell me it's is it cooling. dissipates mirage. Oh, yeah. And helps it cool off. Okay. And it looks cool. Which I is mean, the most important that's thing. That's the most important part so Chris, of the whole build. Blowback system. I was just thinking about this. We were talking about subsonic. Will it run suppressed and subsonic? Or is it, because usually with a gas gun, it changes everything when you put suppressed, put subsonic. Well, with the gas gun, all that velocity and, and pressure and time in the barrel, that's all important. Mm -hmm. Ooh, easy. Put that together? easy, 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 easy. But uh, with the, the bigger, heavier bullet, it's spending more time in the chamber, it's pushing back a little bit harder. It's generally not a problem. Most people shoot their pistol caliber carbines with subsonic ammo. Okay. I think this is gonna probably take a little bit of break in time, but yeah. we can try it when we're out there. I don't mind I breaking in a gun. Yeah. You know. It's more shooting. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap it up so we can get to the range. You guys killed it with this. You know, it's funny, you got a box of parts and you're like, how's it gonna actually look and so feel? I'm super pleased. I mean, it looks cool. It's classy. It's Glock mags. Right, and it looks cute. cute. All right, you ready? Yeah, oh yeah. Get to shooting. All Let's right. blow some stuff up. Here we go.
Dude, the awesome. mist that, that comes off of it. That is amazing. You gotta try it. Yeah, yeah, I wanna shoot it. It has too. a great Dude. feel. I'll tell you what, that's not a magazine. That's a magazine. See, Show that's off. why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three rounds. Let's see if we can pop a few things here. Exactly what we want. People go, that's the difference. You have more power for the nine yes. with a longer barrel. We're getting a that's lot more unreal. velocity, 16 inch barrel, and no tax stamp. My turn. Yeah. Chris. That too. That's cute. If you're gonna outdo me from this, I mean yeah. this is I mean, what everybody fears. Rounds. It's like your first time here. <laughs> <laughs> 50. Oh 50. My God. The Make 50. sure you see that. I gotta thing. seat it. <laughs> Get it up in there, all this stuff. Hopefully once it's Let's in go. there, it's gonna keep cooking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. And you don't lose, you don't, it's like the recoil's not bad. All that mass, you would think, right? Dude, let me try it with the drum. All right, I'll let you have my magazine. I could do this all day. <laughs> not even fair, you're slinging lead over here. Right Wait, right on. One more. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I could shoot this all day. I'll tell you what. I could absolutely stay out here all day and shoot that if it wasn't so hot. AC yeah. break. AC hey, break. Yeah, let's go. Come on. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.